If you throw a few stones into a river, you can step on them to cross. Without realizing it, you've invented stepping stones. But what happens if the water level rises and the stones are submerged? You cut down a large tree and place it between both banks. That's how a log bridge is created. As the river widens, a single long log begins to bend under its own weight. To solve this, you place a pillar in the center. The load-bearing capacity immediately doubles. However, a log bridge only allows one person to cross at a time. When many people need to cross, long lines form. So you tie several logs together and widen the platform. Now several people can cross at the same time. A wooden plank bridge is created. As the river becomes even wider, it's no longer possible to find logs long enough. What do you do? You place one end of the log on the riverbank, secure it with large stones, and let it extend over the water, forming a cantilever. If that still isn't enough, you place another log on top and extend the cantilever even further. You build the same structure from the opposite bank and connect them in the middle, forming a new bridge. If the river is even wider, you simply lay planks between the two cantilever structures.